Hello YouTube, this is Ezzy Maxis or Blitzkrieg, whatever you want to call me, and this is my tutorial that I promised a little wh a while ago after I made my Doom 2 Map 1 remake of how to make invisible sectors in Doom. So, what you want to do is to set up the map, pick Z-Doom, Doom in Hexen format, but I think this can work in normal vanilla Doom. And let's just make this Map 1 so we can start playing it right away. I recommend testing out this effect before you actually put it in your map just so you have the experience and it becomes a lot easier the more you do it. So first we're going to make a 512 by 512 sector. And now in the middle, I'm going to draw a 128 by 128 square. And around the outside of that square in the middle, we're going to do another 160 by 160 square. And this now you're gonna have three sectors: the outside, the middle, and the inside. This middle square is going to be the invisible sector. So, right-click on it or double-click on it, and change the floor height to 127, one below the ceiling. Since our ceiling is 128, it's 127. If your ceiling was 256, it'd be 255. If it was 768, the floor would be 767. <clears throat> the point is, it can change a lot. Now, so we actually see the... So we can escape the sector if we need to. I'm going to have a switch that'll lower the sector. It's action 20, if you want to know. We're going to go with tag 1. I'm going to make the sector move down at the speed of 255 just so you don't see kind of a little uh, Hall of Mirrors effect because if, if you have a sector that doesn't have textures on the side of it and you can see the floor, the floor kind of bleeds out over the whole sector. So You can use that to your effect, uh, to your advantage if you want that as an effect. And it's going to move down 127 and after we press use because it's a switch. Now I'm going to raise this sector to 64. 64. Not 24. Around the sides. Uh, oh. Alright, now I'm just going to put comp span going around the back of the switch. Because it's, it's a texture. And on the front, I'm going to use SW1 exit. So now, as you can see, well, not yet. First, we need to make this have a tag of one. Now, the switch is re referencing this sector. But to really play this map, we need to put a player start in. I already have a pre made map. It looks exactly the same, it acts exactly the same. But I just made this to show you how it works. Alright, so let's go test this map out. Thank <laughs> you. 